Okay, people, we have to set the record straight. There's been a gang of misinformation or rumored information to be coming out for the Elder Scrolls 6. If you guys don't know, there's been a big rumor from Tom Warren, Xbox Air, Gaming Media Alice, even including me, but me, I have my rumor thing set specifically for rumors. So let's get this out the way. The Elder Scrolls 6 supposedly is coming to the PS5. Is that a whole issue right now coming out? I'm pretty sure it really is. Like legit, even for me, for my video, what I posted on my short, I said there's a massive rumor coming out with the Elder Scrolls 6. I've heard things as well, but I like I said, I can't verify none. There's bits and pieces you hear on the internet saying, oh, uh, Elder Scrolls 6 can go in this direction because Microsoft did this, because Xbox did this, what the economy is doing to go like this. So let's address those concerns right now. The main issue is, do I believe Elder Scrolls 6 Will come the PS5? Yes and no. I'm gonna tackle this from a different couple angles. But first, let's see what the actual debunked rumor is from Tom Warren. Let's go to this Twitter post right here. Okay, this is from Rhino the Bouncer. If you guys don't know, he's really, really popular on Twitter or X, wherever you prefer platform you wanna call it. For clarification, Tom Warren from The Verge has corrected me regarding the statement about the Elder Scrolls 6 denying that the reported info about the game coming to PS5 day and date that is attributed to him to be true. So pretty much it's false. I've seen this circling in many places and I stand corrected. We still have no information regarding platforms of release for the Elder Scrolls 6. Like I said, people, the Elder Scrolls 6 is a title that many, many players have been wanting to play, me included. I'm a Bethesda fanboy. I love Bethesda games, especially the ones with Todd Howard's crew. Starfield has its, its hiccups and certain bits, but the Elder Scrolls is my favorite. It is my favorite game series. And do I believe it's gonna come to PlayStation? Ultimately, let's see. Let's, let's get a good timeline right now. I know, this is what I know. Let's go, I can go full screen with this probably because there's this coming out there's other people if you if you literally if you scroll down twitter right now this, these rumors is going rampant even for me i said dude i said it's a rumor 100 percent, it's a rumor believe if you want believe if you don't that's that's on you if you believe it but you know the information is out there and it's easily to debunk like i said i've heard things saying it might go to playstation but there's no way to know it's still further on it seems more likely that it might go to PlayStation to deal with what Xbox's current stance on things is. Is it going to be FOMO? Who knows? But let's discuss that real quick and we'll give you some of my good details. So I'm going to tackle this from one angle. Why do people believe that the Elder Scrolls 6 will be coming to PlayStation? That right there has its own hiccups and things that people don't want to talk about. You guys know what Microsoft said recently. If you have a screen, we consider you an Xbox. Xbox right now is not showing a lot of faith with a lot of pure Xbox people. You know, like I said, you guys got to be neutral when you play your games from now on because you can play it on PlayStation, get Xbox games further down the road, or play on Steam or PC to get the games day and day when they come to Xbox. And Nintendo, just get Nintendo games because Nintendo's the go. You guys love Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo was awesome. I don't see a problem in the long run for the Elder Scrolls 6 to be coming to PlayStation. Yes, I play Elder Scrolls 6 on Xbox and PC. Always have Xbox original, regular Xbox first. I double dip for it on PC. That's just how I play because my rig, I don't wanna say my rig's that old, but I'm, I'm slowly upgrading my rig. I play PC for mods. Xbox console is for the original base game. That's the original one I played Morrowind on there. Then I went back and then played Oblivion, which is my favorite Elder Scrolls game. Oblivion, 100%. I like it more than Skyrim, but I'm biased because that's the one I beat first. I never beat Morrowind. I really should put put that on a channel or something like that where I'm actually playing Morrowind this year. I probably will. But Skyrim played it countless times. Still playing Enderall, the Mega Mod, if you guys know, it's on my channel partly, but I'm still playing it. I just put it on the back burner. Now, fast forward. Elder Scrolls 6. From what I know where Elder Scrolls 6, after the years I've been covering it, and I'm gonna be covering it in the future, I know the Elder Scrolls 6 is supposedly. How, how should I say? Supposedly Todd Howard's last video game. Hear me out. I know for a fact that they're still slowly upgrading the Elder Scrolls 6 engine or the creation engine too. I know they're upgrading that engine. Does it... But what are they going to do afterwards? Like that that's one thing. 
yeah, I'm sitting here looking up, sitting there looking at the dragon. What am I going to do? But uh, I know that they're upgrading it slowly. How far can you do? What can you do to upgrade that engine some more? You know, of course, graphics. The textures looks awesome in Starfield. Given all these other gameplay mechanics that they're still hashing out, it looks awesome. It's, they have some good things. Like I said, I believe Starfield is a stepping stone to Elder Scrolls 6. There's mechanics in Starfield that I believe that's going to be in the Elder Scrolls 6. And I'm going to have a video about that. I keep put, I keep postponing until we get more information. But this rumor that it will come to PlayStation, I believe it might. Like, honestly. But maybe later down the road. Because if this is Todd Howard's last video game, his last video game, his last Xbox game, his swan song, it should be the Elder Scrolls. Not Starfield 2, not Starfield, not Fallout. It should be the Elder Scrolls 6. And that is why I believe it'll probably come to PlayStation maybe later down the road. If, that is a big if if he's retiring. Because I don't believe Xbox games, Bethesda games is pure Xbox games. I never have. Like, okay, they bought it, fine. Like, even throughout the years, I slowly changed my sense. Okay, it's on Xbox. I played on Xbox. That's why I like to play it on Xbox. I believe that certain games, as of right now currently, certain major titles won't be on Xbox the whole time. It's like Fable. Fable will probably stay on Xbox. Like, there's the core team of Xbox that I believe is going to stay on Xbox. So, like, Sinua Saga or a Hellblade, I believe that's probably going to PlayStation later down the road. I'm pretty sure they're going to give them with FOMO. That's just how it is, you know? But Elder Scrolls 6, if this is Todd Howard's last game, because they wanted, they say they have a good business relationship with Xbox. If it's going to be ported over there, that can appease the people that say, you guys ripped Elder Scrolls from us. You guys took it from us. That will appease them, you know? I believe it should, you know, I would want it to stay on Xbox permanently. I would like it to stay on Xbox but I don't see a problem with it to be going to PlayStation, if you see what I'm saying. But that's way down the line. Just get them with FOMO. If that's if that's what Xbox's big strategy is to put games on other platforms, like I said, that's just how we got to take it. We have to take it that way. But man, I don't know, man. Because the more I think about it, the more I'm gonna say I'm conflicted about it coming to PlayStation. If it's Todd Howard's last game, put it on PlayStation. If it's not his last game, keep it on Xbox and PC. Like, that's the only thing I can give. That's the only leeway I can give. Because Todd Howard's been around. He's been around for a long time. And if he's going to do anything going hand with this, I believe it'll be The Elder Scrolls Six. You know, this is just a video just addressing some rumors and stuff like that. I'm not going to put that much in depth with it. I'm not going to go... And with all these different articles and news, if you guys want to see that, do your own research on it because there's a lot of different language outlets taking Tom Warren's thing from The Verge and on Xbox Era saying it's going to be. Because I, I heard it from Xbox Era. I've heard that post going around, so I've reported on it in Xbox Era. If Tom Warren's on, I don't know. I just heard Xbox Era. I don't watch Xbox Era. I don't watch pure platform podcasts and stuff like that. It's just, I get bits and pieces, I hear the context, get my news source. That's it. I don't lean towards Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, or PC. I don't. But good thing this thing was addressed currently, but I still believe there's things that need to be talked about. I will be covering the Elder Scrolls 6 in any shape, form, or fashion if possible. Anything Bethesda related, I'm going to be covering it if it's the main Bethesda Softworks thing. It's my favorite game studio. You guys like this, you guys got my money, regardless of what platform you are. If Elder Scrolls PS5 only, if Fallout's PS5 only, PS6, Xbox 720, whatever you're calling Xbox or handheld, wherever the Elder Scrolls is, whatever Fallout is at, and whatever other game Starfield is at, you guys got my money. Regardless, that is how it is. I like to play with mods, that's what I do. Hopefully, with me and my rambling, gives you some kind of insight of how these Xbox people are thinking, these corporate Xbox shills are thinking, these YouTubers, these content creators are thinking. I, I'm not like them. I'm different at the norm. I, I give my take in a good, concise manner. So, hey, do I believe the Elder Scrolls... Let's, let's just say this. Do I believe the Elder Scrolls 6 is going on PlayStation? Maybe, if it's Todd Howard's last game. Or, it'll be down the road and everyone's not even playing anymore and down the road with FOMO. So, that's just how it is, people. And speaking of that, this is just a quick... I'll probably make an official announcement. If you guys stayed this long to listen to me ramble... I'm having my videos gonna be long form content again. Reactions and long form content is gonna be on this channel. I have an I'm gonna start slowly separating the shorts 
from this channel and put it on another channel called DRG Discussion or DRG Discussion Shorts, wherever. It's probably gonna still say DRG Discussion. You guys know how it is. It's my other channel. I, I decided to flip flop because this algorithm thing ain't hitting right now, man. So we're slowly gonna be changing content. And that's just how it is, people. Yeah, if I ramble this long, you stay this long, well, good rock with me. And uh, I'll see you next time in another video, people. All right, y'all.